Brett Pellini in green that will get us underway. Chase Shaber wins possession for the visiting Flyers. Carr out straight away. And the Panthers have possession with Deutsch up against the boards there. Just. Gutwald is 18. Just 13 seconds off the clock then. As the Panthers pick up the position. With Pellini again. Once the official is ready. Not sure what they're doing. Who knows? <laughs> What's happening, guys? I wonder if it's something to do with basically when you put your starting lineup in now and you announce your starting lineup, you have to start that lineup. And if they don't start the right players, you can like you have to obviously wait to the next whistle. You can like call a penalty against it. It could be nothing to do with that, but yeah, I feel like they they didn't start the right lineup, or maybe they changed from the last minute and then yeah Shaber's not even on there the Morris and Isaacs Cazola Gutwald Gautier and Tim Crowder yeah. and Shaber so they just started a different line yeah and he's gone to sit down we're back underway then Panthers straight on the power play chance at the back door blocked it's Brian Connolly Hansen who's had an excellent start to his Panthers career 20 seconds off the power play. Hansen making ground up this near side, but he can't control that. Hare gets it out of that spot to Connolly. Down low is Rowe. Back to Connolly. DeSantis at the blue line. Connolly on towards the net, and Morrison's left leg out. Now Hansen. A couple of bodies there. Back in front. Hare can't. Fully connect, and then it will be cleared up by the Flyers. 50 seconds, that was. Great kind of observation there by the Panthers, whether it was, uh, you know, Tim Wallace or whoever it was down there to spot that. I know they look for it kind of every week, so basically it gives us a free power play to start the game, so they'll take that. Can the Panthers capitalise? Back up the right end now, although Arson will clear it again for Fife. car out and ably dealt with as we've seen numerous times this season already. Kvist drops it off for Deutsch. Pellini sends it to that far side in Golovkovs. Has Matheson with him. Golovkovs goes towards the net now. Puts it back to the blue line. Matheson towards the net. It's not really got much pace behind it and it caused Adam Morrison some problems. Yeah, nice movement there and Matheson, like we always say, you don't have to have an absolute cannon on the net from the point, just get it through and uh, Polini sniffing around but Morrison does a good job there, first save and then he, he's the quickest to react to that rebound. Nice power play though by the Panthers to start this game. 22 seconds left of it and Polini will try and win this, he does and keeps it down in the offensive zone, Matheson again and Golovkovs Deutsch has plenty of room. Nobody's screening. He doesn't need it. He's fired it in. Inside the first power play, the Panthers have taken the lead. Yeah, and Adam Deutsch, yeah, we've seen him do that all season so far. That's his spot on the power play. And like you said, he doesn't need a screen. He doesn't need a one-timer. He just settles that one down, walks in, and rips that one low block on Morrison. Quist does a great job in front, just a little flash screen. Maybe takes his eyes away, but Deutsch finds that low blocker. 
and just what the Panthers needed, a big start at home, an early goal, and hopefully they can build on that now. Third goal of the season for Adam Deutsch. Panthers conceded immediately last time they took an early lead. Ollie Betridge out there. Tim Crowder as well. Of course, a dangerous player. Yeah, like you said, I think the key here for the Panthers is just to uh, obviously not let up here, keep going. Like you said, the last few couple of games, every time we've scored, we've kind of let one or two in straight away afterwards. So next few minutes are crucial here. High stick called there and Panthers will be in the offensive zone again. Betridge and Cazola on this face-off. We've played just less than two and a half minutes. Betridge and Cazola again then. Flyers get possession and try and go straight through the middle. Bit of a stop, start, start to this one. Kevin Carr though, not had anything to do so far. Tom, it's going to be Pellini. Mike Cazola, 4-5. Jonas Emmerdahl is 44. That's all competitions instead of just the league. Yeah. <coughs> Brett Pellini, Mike Cazola. This time it's won by Pellini, which the official didn't seem to like. So we'll have another go. Still inside the first three minutes here. It's had a few whistles. Hair. There's John Rowe, bit of space. Gives it back to his captain here towards the nets, blocked by Emma Dahl. Row the first to it. Can't find Brett Pellini though. And then that's all changed for the Flyers after a couple of icing. Nice and then try. it's a great pass from John Rowe. Sam Hare can't get the shot on target. Excellent pass that from John Rowe. And the Panthers are looking good to start this one. Yeah, start off great. You know, goal, <coughs> a couple of good other chances. Guys seem to be going well. Although here's Schaber. Now Gutwald towards the net was blocked instantly by John Rowe. And Malmquist back to Rowe, touches it onto Hare. And those two will go to the bench. Malmquist to Hansen. He might want another goal. It's a shot and it's a good save from Adam Morrison. Nice early shot there from Jake Hansen. One back on that far side. Matherson puts it forward. Now Golovkovs. Hansen back to Golovkovs. Good stick though by Carlo Finucci. Took it away. Those two have got a real understanding already. George Golovkovs and Jake Hansen. Now perhaps the chance for the Flyers. Paul Crowder drops it off for Jones. Jones centers it and it's put in. The Flyers with their first shot have leveled it back up. There was a few bodies in there. It was like Barry McKenzie is claiming it. Yeah, nice power move there down the wing. As you see, Jones on his backhand throws it in. Crowder's in front there. McKenzie's in front. We thought it might have been a little bit of a kick. We're just trying to see here. It doesn't look like it. Maybe not off the stick, but certainly wasn't kicked. It might have just been deflected. Like you said, McKenzie looks like he's claiming it. Him and Crowder are right in the crease. And again, you know, another strong pushback. Panthers have actually been really good since they scored, but, you know, the Flyers just get that one chance and it's in the net. So we're back to a tied game. Lakovic and Kozola.
Danny Fick is across quickly. Now Lakovic again, good pass. Jordan Kelsall has Lakovic and Hazeldean up with him, puts it towards the net. Inadvertent there from Lakovic. Nothing his momentum could do about that. Going into Morrison. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get a penalty for that. I think the whistle just went, hopefully. I mean, like you said, Lacko, not that kind of guy. You can see on the replay, he's just going to the net. Defenseman takes him in. Yeah, no penalty or anything there. But good good play there by the, those that trio. Hazel to Kelsall. Kels, good composure there. Gets it to the net with uh, Lakovic going driving. Yeah, sometimes I find that with, like you said, that was probably Carl's first first action of the night. And I remember as a goalie, all you wanted was that first early shot, fairly easy shot from distance, just to feel it, hold the rebound. And it's hard when you don't touch the puck for even, you know, four or five minutes and just watch it at the other end. And then, you know, you get a good scoring chance. So not the way Kevin Carl would want to start, but I'm sure the next one's going to be a big save. John Rowe after this, then down low. Sam Hare comes back in and centers it, but there's nobody there. Fick. Towards the net. Nice work there in front from uh, the Panthers captain, but nothing doing. Adam Morrison didn't like it though. Getting involved. He is quite early. Played 5-15. The Panthers again in the offensive zone. Pellini. And Shaber, he's the one that wins it to Emma Dahl. Livingston forward, but to nobody in white. Here he is again, number 26. Bouncing puck, and it eluded the stick of the Flyers, and the Panthers almost got in there, but it's back with the visitors. Off the boards, Livingston. DeSantis doing well to keep that away from him. Looks like we're going to see the same type of game we've seen the last few weeks. Panthers probably going to have most of the possession, zone time. But the Flyers, obviously, like with Manchester and Glasgow, those guys, comfortable on the counter-attack, you know, trying to take their chances on the power play. So Panthers should have the puck most of the night, though. Brian Connolly's got it at the moment. A nice move from him. Excellent pass, is it too? It's not. Morrison covered the post. Sam Hare with the man that had the shot and he's back in possession. Now Mark Matheson. Deutsch. That's nice again from the Panthers. Bulmer looking for Kvist and Betridge as well. Puts it down low as Betridge to William Kvist. Bulmer forced off it and after it go Deutsch and Matheson almost found his teammate did Adam Deutsch Gautier good work from Chris though and the Panthers with Mark Matheson come forward Fick. Golovkov sends it forward to Bulmer, but it's back with Fife. Played seven and a half. Danny Fick after that one into the corner. McKenzie as well. Matheson and Paul Crowder. Danny Fick. Golovkov's now Scott Arson. That was a good interception by Hansen. Couldn't capitalise though and wins it straight back. Looking to inject a bit of pace. It's been about a minute and a half of, like you said, the Panthers in possession. Golovkov's forwards. Picks up his own pass and Malmquist looked to perhaps shoot there. Tetlow does and it's wide. Fick. Sends it back to Josh Tetlow. Bags a room in front of him. Malmquist in a good position. Gives it back to Josh Tetlow. Fick. 
There's a bit of jostling in front of Morrison's net and he gets his blocker to that shot from Danny Fick. Finucci and there's a spare man on this left-hand side. Fick did well to cover Paul Crowder though and the Panthers have back the puck. Face off down this end. Emma Dahl towards the net now. Danny Fick behind Carr's net does excellently well to get it to Betridge. And attacking through the middle is Betridge. Shot. Shot was saved. Plenty behind that from Ollie Betridge, injecting a bit of pace into it. Yeah, really good play by Betridge. He's got that shot. He can score from there. And every time he gets over that blue line, he should be shooting the puck like that to the net. Bulmer gives it back to Betridge. Now DeSantis, shot, and again, it's uh, in front of Morrison's net, and he's covered it up eventually. It was Kvist that was sniffing around this time. Yeah, good play by the Panthers there. Just simple, pucks to the net, back to the point, back on net. And big guys like Balmer and Quist in front. Ten thirty-nine to go in the first period. Approaching the halfway mark of it. Freddie Mercury makes an appearance. DeSantis, Pellini, and Rowe. Has hair there. Still going is Sam Hare. And the Panthers, once again, have a lot of time in the offensive zone. But won't be for the next couple of minutes. Yeah, great play there by Sam Herb, just taking it by himself and he just lost his footing there and he kind of had to take the Flyers forward down. Otherwise, could have been sort of a three-on-one the other way. So Flyers go to their first power play and obviously Herb, one of their big penalty killers. First penalty kill then of the evening for the Panthers. Of course, Oli Betridge is out there. Mike Cazola on that draw for the Flyers. Lakovic, Fick and Lapine the other three. Danik Gautier won't get on the end of that and Fick gets it up and back into the right kinds of areas. 15 seconds or so off the penalty. Now the Flyers come back again. Finucci, Paul Crowder is behind him. Finucci goes the other way though. Cross to 78, Gautier. Finucci back this side for Crowder. He just eluded him. Now down low is Gautier. Far side and the Panthers doing a good job on the rotations. Can Betridge get there? He will. Chance perhaps to go short-handed here. And it's good work, that is, from uh, the Flyers. And the officials eventually give the decision after it's appealed by Mike Cazola. A good 10 seconds or so after Betridge. Looked like he was perhaps gonna get in on a Morrison's goal and we're gonna have a bit of five on three. Minute and nine left on the first penalty to Hare. Madison, Hansen, and Lakovic. Lakovic, the one primed there with Shaber. Plenty of space now for the Flyers, of course. Just put down low. Crowder. And then just again. Good so far from the Panthers. And an errant pass there. Carr and 
Lakovic can't get it fully clear, but does enough. And Hansen out there as well. Livingston comes this near side. A bit stretched now. The Panthers too after going after that. 38 seconds left on the hair penalty. Madison lies down to block the pass. Shaber has Livingston in front and Crowder Tim. Making a position and then it comes to Madison who gets it all the way clear. 20 seconds on Hare's penalty. Yeah, great job there. No shots on net. You could just see they, you know, Flyers obviously got the, the sort of zone time and the position, but, you know, nothing on the net. Now they attack once more. Chance here for just there's a shot. Good save. Out to that was Kevin Carr. Five seconds. Hare is back on. And 50 now on. Betridge penalty. Fix straight out to it. Chase Shaber and Livingston has Justin Crowder looking for that shot. That was blocked and Kelsall gets there once, can't twice. Half a minute left on Betridge penalty. Just good pass to Crowder. Now back door. It's a wild shot. Looked like it hit the net. Kevin Carr agrees. I mean, I'm at least 40 yards away. 20 seconds on Ollie's penalty. Watch 7.42 on the period. We're tied at one. Adam Deutsch getting the Panthers goal inside the first power play until Barry McKenzie forced one home. Bulmer Cazola. Bulmer hits the deck and it's back to the blue line. Finucci shot. Carr got enough on it. And Crowder into the last 10 seconds. That's good work from Fick and Bulmer now. Panthers will return to the full quota. Hare keeps it up the right end and then Betridge returns, Bulmer Danik Gautier has got a couple a three here last season Bulmer goes down low, Hare picks it up far side Bulmer into a decent little position dispossessed though, but Hare wins it back and a bit of space, there's a shot, good save, rebound is there as well. Can't be put in by Golovkovs. Yeah, huge save there, uh, great job stripping the uh, D-man of the puck. <coughs> Golovkovs down low, Crowder for company. Drops it off for DeSantis, towards the net again and Morrison gets out to it. Panthers since those two penalties have resumed the norm of having most of the possession in their offensive zone. Yeah, I think a lot of the time when you do <coughs> kill off, you know, a, any penalty, but definitely a five on three, it just gives you such a massive boost. And also probably your skilled guys haven't been on the ice for the last couple of minutes, so they'll come out and they'll be flying and wanting to get back down the other end. So it can work both ways if you don't score on one of those. Chase Shaber dumps that out his car. Doesn't really get it all. And it's put inside and won back. Dylan Malquist, the man who did it, Golovkovs, Gutwald and Isaacs, that's an awkward one to deal with, but eventually Livingston will do, not fully though and the Panthers again keeping that pressure on, no real shots for Morrison to save though, Livingston that's deflected by Malmquist and had to call Carr into action. Livingston again, plenty of room there, in on that, and it's an easy, comfortable save for Kevin Carr. First real one he's had to make. Yeah, I think Pandas do a great job there. You know, there's no one in front of Kevin Carr. He's obviously a top quality goalie. That's not going to beat him, so they're happy to give up those chances. 5.25 left in the first. Still one each. And Rowe forces it on Kvist. It pops up and out of bounds. Five 
Thick. Lapine will get after this. <laughs> Slightly surprised me there. Does well enough there, and Pellini. Morrison's out and almost comes under pressure from William Kvist. Again, the Panthers doing a good job of not letting Fife get it clear, as they did with the Storm in the week. Gautier dumps it forward for Tim Crowder to chase. Danny Fick and Pellini there as well, and a bit of chaos. Hazeldine forward. Both sides make a couple of three changes. Mike Cazola just to put it around the boards, but as usual, Kevin Carr is out to it and a good pass. Kelsall gives it to Hazeldean. He went a tad early. Four minutes, nine seconds to go in the first. Possession won by Fife. Connolly, Hazeldean up against the bench there. Lakovic and Kelsall out this near side. That's towards Carr. Game stays alive through Connolly. Hazeldean again. Dumps it forward. Morrison's out. He's got Kelsall and Hazeldean either side. And he just dealt with that. Paul Crowder wears 80. His brother Tim wears 90. Connolly off the skates there and chance here off the change. Carlo Finucci shot saved by Carr straight at him. And then that one, it does well to grab a hold of. Finucci was still knocking about, 3.16 to go. Yeah, a couple of smart saves there by Kevin Carr. Holds on to that one. Those were kind of half-line change there. So, Flyers are starting to come back into the game a little bit. So, slow it down for a second. Betridge, Shaber. With three minutes and 16 to go in the first period. Malmquist straight on that. And Deutsch. Matherson this near side. Forward for Bulmer, who of course got a lot of goals and assists last season for the Flyers. Not sure why the whistle went there. Three minutes in a second. Into the Panthers offensive zone again then. It's going to be Betridge. We'll try and dig possession out. Chase Schaber. And Gutwald. Isaacs and Livingston over that far side for the Flyers. Comes inside for Bulmer here, perhaps. Just can't work anything. Madison forwards and Kvist and Bulmer as usual out there with Betridge. Matherson. Nice work and it's just a tad ahead of Deutsch, but he won't mind. Leaves it for Bulmer, who goes back to Matherson. Panthers have to reset now. Pellini. Bulmer comes in there. And Matherson and it Almost comes out for Bulmer. It still might just was arson. Now in front of the bench, Bulmer gets it forward. And he goes off with less than two minutes to go in the first period. Yeah, just got a little bit scrappy the last couple of minutes. I think after the power plays and the early goals, it's just quietened down a little bit. I think Fife are happy on the road just to, uh, you know, see out this last two minutes, get the bus legs out, as they say. And come back to start the second period be good for the Panthers to try and put some pressure on here this last minute 52 
Not off that. But we'll get another chance. 145. Kalini primed on this and Pizzola. Fick, Gautier hunting him down. Good pass from Fick to Rowe. Arson to Gautier. Cazola gets caught underneath his feet a little bit. Less than 90 seconds to go in the first period. And the fly is in possession. Lapine. Bit of a change, line change there for the Flyers, but it's a foul on John Rowe. Finucci has the shot, and it's saved by Carr, and almost comes out, but he covers it up. Yeah, nice play there by Finucci, just delayed and delayed and got it to the net, and Carr kind of struggled to hold on to it to start with, but he's in good position to grab that rebound. But yeah, Flyers definitely uh, second half of this first period settle down a bit and come back into the game a few more shots at Kevin Carr 53 seconds remain Finucci towards the net again and that has popped out Malmquist gets it back nice Golovkov's inside in there he is and the shot is blocked and up into the netting, good play from Dylan Malmquist. Yeah, great turn of, uh, turn of pace by him there, just to play it off the, off the boards. Good young, skilled player there, starting to find his feet, and a nice play to Golovkovs. 35 seconds. And there is Malmquist again. Shaber for the Flyers. Malmquist gets his stick to it, but it's cleared up to this near side, Jason DeSantis. Now, just Shaber down this near side, and that's popped up and awkward from Carr, but he did enough to keep it from crossing the line. Connolly. Ten seconds, perhaps one shot left in this first period. Not after that, though, and the two sides will go into the end of the first period, one each. Back underway, then, second period. One each. Deutsch opened the scoring and McKenzie got the Flyers equaliser. Panthers scored within the first power play and looking to start back on again. Nice little shot there from Sam Hare, but it was easy enough for Adam Morrison. Livingston. Nice work from Schaber. Quick. But he's forced down low and can't get a shot on Carr. Kvisten, uh, sorry, Deutsch and Schaber there having a bit of a tussle and Deutsch gets it away. Hairs after it and he might just get there. He does. Stops it nicely looking for Pellini but works it out of that corner and then towards the net and it's blocked by Isaacs. Livingston just dumps it into that far corner. Cazola chases. Connolly forwards. And there's Morrison. Almost played 90 seconds. Are you here tonight? 
in the second. Malmquist over this. Trying to keep the puck down this end. It's Cazola though that wins it. And Jones. DeSantis in. Goes back the other way for Golovkov's Arson though. Doing the defensive work. <coughs> Not fully though. Golovkov's. Malmquist in a good position. It's an excellent stick there from Morrison. Still the Panthers though pressure. Hansen. Every time, again, like the Storm, you see that one flyers. Every time they think they're going to get possession, one of the flyers just takes off through the middle trying to get that breakaway. There's the chance coming in on the right-hand side. And then backhand shot was from Malmquist. Gautier retrieves his stick and then is making ground through the middle. Danik Gautier with some good move. And then Hansen and Connolly team up to dispossess him. Golovkovs. Just about keeps a hold of it. And does enough so Cazola can't get on the end of that. Connolly. Shot there from Bulmer. It's his old club. Connolly deflected up into the netting. 17 19 to go in the second period. Betridge ready on this. Lapine forwards, Kvist, Bulmer. It's Kvist again down low now is Betridge. Paul Crowder's with him. Gets it out of there though. And Bulmer is battling with Jonas Emmerdahl. Comes back down this side, Fick, Betridge, and back to 92. Lapin forwards, Kvist again, it's all the zone time for the Panthers. Kvist, it gets caught underneath him, and now perhaps here is where the Flyers will go. The mentioned the guy leak in there it's Finucci and it's fallen almost there and then perhaps for Finucci and Crowder but the Flyers can't get anything on Carr's goal nearly played 24 minutes Livingston has just hits the deck in front of the Panthers bench Livingston shoots it's wide around this side is Isaacs he goes the other way and it will Get all the way through to Gutwald. Schaber. Well, there's excellent strength from Gilapin. Lakovic. Kelsel up on that far side. Gutwald there as well, though. Lakovic comes in and it's right in front of him, but it got above his eye line. Deutsch is the shot and it's deflected. It's still there, perhaps. Can it be forced in? Three bodies there. Lakovic was one of them. Kelsel as well. And Joe Hazeldean. Yeah, great try there. Lacko really making use of himself in front of the net. And then Deutsch obviously with one goal already tonight. I thought for sure one of those guys are going to bang that one in, but Morrison stood tall. Here's Madison though, and then back to Deutsch. Centers it, almost on the rebound was Pellini. The two D-men there leading the rush for the Panthers, Deutsch and Matheson. There he is again, Panthers 20. Kelsel and Hazeldean go off after a good shift from that line. Hare nicks it on. Rowe is after it, but Arson under control. Tim Crowder gets past him on the boards up this near side. Gautier dispossessed, and that's excellently controlled by Hare. Pellini is the man with him. Shot from Hare, and it's saved into the outside netting. Chance on the rebound though, Rowe, a good save by Morrison again. Panthers with more pucks to the net. Looking the most likely in the second period as they did in the first. It's 14 minutes and a bit left of this second period. Hare looking to go alone. 
forced off it though. Every time. It was Cazola this time. Can't do anything though as Brian Connolly dispossesses him and then it's back up this near side. Dylan Malmquist gets it past his man, cuts it back inside. The hair perhaps a chance on the seconds. Malmquist. Fick looked to push it past Finucci, didn't, but the Panthers have got it back. Hansen centers it, it's past Hare's stick. Malmquist. It's still up that end. Gila Pin has to tell Malmquist where it was. Now Cazola. Space on that far side. That's good recovery from Danny Fick. Through his legs initially, but got it. On the turnaround, Isaacs. Fick across to cover. <coughs> Golovkovs. Betridge wants it. Golovkov's shot. Far side now, Finucci. Crowder. Paul. Isaacs on this near side but there is Oli Betridge getting all the way back Kvist and now back to Betridge wanted it a second ago will this be his chance to shoot he gets it across nobody's there up on it is Matheson Panthers really forcing the issue here and look like they will be the next one to notch Deutsch that's forward Thought he touched it. Got Bolden, Bolmer. Getting fairly close there. Couple of minutes to the halfway point. Lakovic wins out there. Matheson back, Kelsall towards the net, blocked straight away and up into the air and Lakovic has put it in but they waved it off straight away. All manner of bodies were there and it went up and Lakovic looked like he forced it across. Yeah, like you say, straight away. We'll have a look here but yeah, I think it's actually Hazel down there. You can see the sticks fairly high. Number 13 there, it's over his own head. So I, uh, yeah, wishful thinking now. I, I was hoping that one was going to be in but yeah, I think uh, you can see there it was the stick was pretty high from young Hazel. Nice try by him though. Momentum all with the Panthers though. Struggled to think in the first eight minutes if Kevin Carr has had to make a save or has even perhaps had the puck anywhere near him. Livingston. That's fired forwards into the far corner. Chance perhaps, but Livingston loses his footing. Deutsch screaming up that far side. Fallen though easily for Connolly. Lakovic. Can't get it past Arson. Goes off the back. Livingston stretches, reaches, and it's behind Shaber. Never really caught eye of it. Now Livingston, a few bodies in front, comes inside, or tries to, but Lakovic does well. Yeah, great play there by Lako going down. He had the uh, Arson was sneaking in there, kind of back door, but Lako does well, gets down, takes that away. Goes off now, Lakovic after a good shift where he did have the puck in the net. Polini. Trying to barrel his way through, almost comes to John Rowe. Now the Flyers up in their offensive zone. Shot was wide and Connolly was in the way of it anyway. Emma Dahl almost comes out with it and here we go on the break. Panthers captain 
Sam Hare down his left hand side. Yeah, Connolly's going to get a penalty there for a cross check. He was uh, just trying to get some space and get to the net there, and he he just kind of gets the cross check on the back check in five. I think it was a defenseman and right in front of the referee. So unfortunately, the uh, the five guy fell down. So. Ten twelve to go in the period. Panthers on the kill. Killed a five on three earlier. With minimal fuss for Kevin Carr. Lapine. Livingston down low. Gets it back up. Tim Crowder. And then the shot from Shaber, and it's almost diverted in just and there was a couple of three Panthers defenders as well and that's good from Fick now Hare will go back the other way time in possession on the kill and that's all the way forward it's gonna cause a tad of an issue for Adam Morrison 120 straight through the middle Gautier Comes all the way around. And now back into the familiar setup with a minute to go. There's the shot from Crowder Tim. Gautier picks it up. And then Tim Crowder again, number 90. Him and Gautier leading this power play from. The Flyers, and there he is in front, the chance. Dug out, though, by the Panthers, 35 seconds. A few change for the Flyers. Big hit. Deutsch gets in the way there. Crowder, though, back up, and then it pops over. Cazola's stick back to Crowder. Nice work from Cazola. Chance coming in, though, isn't controlled. 15 seconds. Stick there, takes it. Slightly away from Cazola. And then that's an errant pass to Finucci. Panthers yet again do well on the kill. Cazola coming in on that left side. There's Hansen and there. The Panthers will get it the other way. Great kill there by the Panthers. i got to say, Flyers. A bit like the Panthers sometimes, loads of possession, playing it around well, but again, Carr, I don't think, touched the puck once in that whole two-minute segment. So, yeah, lots of possession for the Flyers, but the Panthers will be really happy with that. Carlo Finucci then, the latest to take a seat. Panthers scored on the first power play. Will they get that one-goal lead back here? Dug out and won. DeSantis. Hansen, Hare, Rowe, and Connolly, the other three. Shot straight away, it's right in front. Can it be forced in? It is. Guess who's scored for the Panthers? It's Jake Hansen again. Refs are going to look at it. Yeah, I'm not sure why the refs are going to look at it. We'll see a Sam Hur battling away. No problem with that, I don't think there. Hansen with a great play, he just no one comes to him, so he just slowly takes it towards the net, gets it on net. Hur. Causing, a, uh, causing chaos in front of the net. Hansen, like a great goal scorer, follows his own rebound here and fires that in on the backhand. So the only thing, I don't know if the refs can call this, but did they think it was a penalty? Because straight away he says no, but I don't know why. If it was a man in the crease, if he thought maybe her, that's a penalty or something, but I don't think he can call a penalty there. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I, I can't see any reason why it would be called off, but I don't think there was a player in the crease. There was no contact with the goalie. Definitely went over the line. Took just nine seconds of the power play. Goalie interference or something potentially, but again, I can't see. I don't see how this isn't going to be a goal, but I mean, 
it was weird that he said like no 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 straight, straight away. away i don't know what he was looking like i don't know why here's the yeah. decision for Nucci's coming out and the goal is given the panthers take just nine seconds to score on that power play and jake hansen once again that's his fourth in as many games you see it again hansen jumping on that loose puck Seven fifty-two to go in the second. Panthers back in front. Malmquist, Shaber. He wants another one already. Hansen forwards. Connolly towards the net, and there's meet and drink for Adam Morrison. There's the goal scorer. Malmquist ready again and it will come back to him Jones forwards and Hansen picks it up there's only one thing in his mind when he gets it Malmquist puts it down low but not to anybody in green DeSantis steps into that well and that's a good pass through to Connolly. Shot blocked by Livingston. And now on the break. Far side go the Flyers. All the way across. And Kevin Carr is still there, folks. It's his first bit that he's really had to do in the second period. Yeah, definitely. He's been hanging out back there. This is good stuff. Every time. <laughs> Jimmy Peck's my favourite one. Yeah. The Jimmy. The Jimmy. Quist. Bulmer after it. Emma Dahl as well. Panthers man comes away with it. There's Betri straight on. Shot perhaps. Will it fall for Bulmer? Can he put it in? All oh. the way across the line. <laughs> William Quist was inches away from it. And Gautier back down the other end. Yeah, that was great play by Betridge. Bulmer there, he just, he's got a long reach. He got all the way around him, but just him and Quist couldn't put it in. Here he goes again. Went too early, though. All the way around in here, right across, and Quist with that long reach. He just can't quite get a piece of that one. Great defensive play by Cazola there. Bulmer yet to open his account this season. Would have loved one against his... Former employers. Isaacs. Finucci. It was his penalty that led to the power play, which the Panthers got the second. Hare. Pellini continues. Pops up and straight to Paul Crowder. Isaacs. Now attacking the Flyers. Gutwald. Finucci. All the way across, there's a shot. Good save from Carr. Right behind that shot from Paul Crowder. It was going in the corner. Yeah, huge save there. Obviously, Carzi, not much to do so far this period. Kicks out that right leg, tracks that part really well. And that's a huge save. 5.42 left in the second period. Schaber once more comes forwards with Blackovic. One by Fife. Nice from Schaber. Seen that a couple of times this evening. Nice. Stick work, but nothing to show for it, really. Connolly forces Livingston all the way back. Hazardine covers the pass. And Shaber 
tracked by Lakovic. Arson. Forwards. Connolly gets his stick to it. Dylan Monquist, Mike Cazola, the neutral zone there. DeSantis, forward Hansen. That's a bit of a dangerous one, but a good catch there. <laughs> Five minutes and two seconds to go in the second period. Monquist and uh, Cazola, Gautier. All the way forwards, Malmquist, Cazola behind him. And Golovkovs, is that a quiet game by his standards the last couple of weeks and that was redirected. Right behind it there was Kevin Carr, Mark Cazola right in front of him. Busy last couple of minutes for Carr after about 15 minutes of having to do pretty much nothing. Cazola again will settle down here with Brett Pellini joining him. Danny Fick. And the Panthers can't get it clear. There's the shot wide by Emmerdahl. Plenty behind that. Cazola blocked, fixed straight away. Gets it back though, off a couple of bounces does Cazola. Right in front now and that's a good pass but it's behind Gautier. Emma Dahl gives it back to 78 Gautier. Towards the net and Kevin Carr sticks that left hand up before he's even shot it. Yeah, good idea there by Carr, you just grab it and hold on. Obviously they've been, had us hemmed in for a minute there. So get a line change, good play by Kevin Carr. He's looked very solid this game. 4.10 to go in the second. There's that shot from Emma Dahl. And we'll have another go at that. Panthers leading 2-1. Pellini and Crowder over there, far side. McKenzie, he's got the Flyers goal towards the net deflected and out of danger forced off by Pellini was Crowder and Matherson comes in as well now to try and dig it out from behind Carr's net that's pretty well stuck that one Finucci good pass chance was wide of the near post Carr was across to it anyway and again, much like the first, the Flyers are perhaps ending the better side. Matherson and Pellini over there, Rowe as well. Rowe as well, gets it to Hare. Now Pellini, two on one, there's the shot, good save by Morrison. Nice move though, going forward from the Panthers, 3.12 to go second. Yeah, nice move there between Rowe and Pellini. Her just lays it off to Pellini. That's a good spot for him there. He likes that cutting across and shooting back across the green. But Morrison makes a big save there. Betridge with an eight. Now, of course, Chase Schaber, one of the best names. Just, perhaps not. <laughs> Betridge it evades him and coming in was Schaber. Betridge and Schaber again then on this with just over three minutes to go in the second. 
DeSantis will chase back. Connolly square of him. Quist forwards here, but Connolly likes to travel with the puck. Gets it back, and now he's got space in front of him. Still going. Brian Connolly lays it off. Betridge shot wide. And a good one towards the net again by DeSantis. Quist was there. Jones sees a gap. Drops it Livingston, and it's won back by guess who? Still going is Betridge. There's Quist. Shot just wide. A little bit more end to end. The end of this period here. A few chances each way. Shaber. Bulmer, though, back on D. Able to sort that out. Malquist almost. And Golovkovs. Golovkovs. Sudden turn of pace with the shot, and then the rebound came out. Not for very long, though, as Morrison covered it up with less than two minutes to go in the second. Yeah, nice play there. Golovkov's just trying to go by himself between the two D-men. He just sort of cuts through the middle, rips that one in Morrison's chest. So, standard save for him. Malmquist and Cazola. Dug out by Mike Cazola. Danik Gautier over that far side and now Tim Crowder. Gila Pin though having none of that. Hansen has the decisive goal at the moment. Golovkovs goes forwards and goes to his knees. Now Fick. Oh. Turned over though by Fick and there's Cazola. Pounce right on that error by Danny Fick and he's levelled it up with less than Two minutes to go in the second. Yeah, and obviously just the pass back there. I could see the pass he was trying to make. He was wide open. The forward there cut the gap and obviously right on his stick. And then the defenseman's kind of in Kazi's vision as well. So, you know, when things aren't quite going your way, you know, Danny Fick saw that lane to him and it would have been a good play back to him, break the pressure. The forward there cheated as a lot of those flyers forwards do on the offensive side. And he gets it, I think it was Gautier there, and he fires it low blocker. So they give uh, Panthers, get the flyers away back in. 91 seconds to go in the second. Deutsch. Sorry, my, uh, my bad there. I said it was Gautier, it was Kozola. Lakovic. Far side, Matheson. Kelsel comes back this way. Lakovic is there. Ahead of Isaacs. In on that Kelsel. Just under pressure though. and Won't fall for Matheson. Lakovic, Deutsch, Kelsel, oh. again. Poundy almost got killed on the bench. <laughs> Look at him. He almost took it right off the head. Less than a minute to go in the second. As we see Hazeldean back to the bench there. Polini. Wins that. Connolly. Jason DeSantis. Around the boards. This near side is Hare. So is Livingston. I stick that. Inside of my head is like a... Polini and Shaber. That far side, there's a chance though, perhaps inside the last minute. There is the shot, and it's caught in front, and then another chance on a rebound. Still there are the Flyers. 23 seconds or so, Livingston shot, saved by Carr and held on. Yeah, good push right there from Kevin Carr. He made one good save on the wraparound and then that shot from, uh, you know, decent shot there. Again, the Flyers get their tails up a bit, having got that goal and Carr holds, holds steady. 20 seconds. Both sides with a goal in each period so far. It means that we're level at two. Cazola and Pellini over this. 
falls there. There's the shot, and it's over by Crowder. Plenty of points and goals last season at the Blaze. 16.8. Same pairing on the draw here. And then same result comes for Crowder, and the shot this time isn't as threatening. Matherson, Rowe, caught up in front there. That's five seconds. There's a shot oh. blocked, and Adam Deutsch will have to sit down for 20 minutes to get rid of that. Yeah, it's going to sting. <laughs> End of the second. It's two each. Newcastle. Back underway then. Third period. Two each. Isaacs. Shot straight away and easy for Kevin Carr. Yeah, that's kind of the, the perfect shot there for Kevin Carr to face. Start of a period. Just had a 20 minute break. Just do a distance. Yeah. Love, I'd love Pookie to get a hat full <laughs> in that game. He won't, though. Pellini. I, I think Pookie scored in every single game, and then I got him, and yeah, he doesn't have a single goal. <laughs> since. I don't think they've even scored a goal. Like, Norwich haven't won a game since like, the start of August. Yeah. I should just, yeah. I give him one more week, and then it's... Disjointed start to the third period. Just came in there on Deutsch. And the Panthers just get it away. May help though that it's a bit stretched now. Rowe, Pellini on this near side. There nice he is play. and almost redirects it in. That's excellent work from Adam Morrison there to keep it 2-2. Yeah, really nice play by this line. These three of uh, Pellini, Her and Rowe have been really good tonight. And, and every night in a great play there by Johnny Rowe. Pearls gets a piece of it, and the hard thing for Morrison is on the fresh ice, you just keep sliding and sliding, but he tracks that puck really well and holds on, but great transition from that line. Almost uh, ending up in a goal. Still inside the first minute of the third. Bulmer and Cazola. He's the scorer of the latest goal that has made it to each. Here he is again, Mike Cazola. Shot was high and into the netting behind Carr's net. 52 seconds have been played in the final period. Panthers haven't won at home since September the 1st. 5-1 over the Steelers. Yeah, we, we can't go the whole of October without one at home. That would be like unheard of. There is the shot and it's wide off the glove of Carr chance back in front no Jones shoots and he's got it in Panthers are going to have to come from behind if they are going to notch a win in October it's 2-3 yeah really good start to the period by the Flyers they've been buzzing all around and there great shot by Jones good work there down the goal I didn't see who that was I'll try and see oh, it's Crowder nice play by him and he spots Jones and again just a guy creeping into the slot uh, kind of out of nowhere he started as the high man then he's creeping down and there's a forward there, did a great job, great screen on Carr, and he just jumps out of the way just in time. And Jones finds that top corner, great shot by him. And like you said, the Panthers have led all night. And now they find themselves trailing, but plenty of time here for them to get back into this one. Carr's out. Golovkovs, dispossessed by the Flyers, wins it back though. And then is off to the races puts it to the left and then inside Hansen redirection Golovkovs comes up with it Fick towards Ooh. the net and it's almost through the legs there of Morrison Malmquist got his stick on it yeah really good uh, redirection that's a really hard spot for a goal there where the four just creeps out to the top of the crease and he makes that deflection kind of in no man's land but again Morrison not only with the save but keeps those legs shut on the fresh ice and holds on to it that could easily have been a 
great goal there for Dylan Malmquist. Would that have been Malmquist first? I think he's got one. No, well, yeah, it says zero there, but... Well, he's got zero then. <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't sure, yeah, if he had one maybe in the Challenge Cup or something, but... Lapine. Livingston getting too close for Lapine's comfort there. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't want any part of the, the lapster. And I don't blame him. No. Panthers with a one goal hole here. Less than eighteen minutes to go. Yeah, probably kind of suits Fife obviously being in the lead, but this late on now they can as they do normally, they can just kind of sit back. They'll be opportunistic if they can, but they're happy to just sit back and defend and try and see this one out. Quist. Bulmer. Throws it forward and far side is Deutsch. Betridge. He's looked as likely as anybody to get on the score sheet as well. Bulmer. Tried to put one in on the backhand. Quist comes in, but he can't keep the puck. And then it's out by just... Deutsch, Pelini, Matheson, Bulmer, and then Sam Hare just off the bench. Pelini, pass one or two, and still going, looking for a, an angle on the net. Round to row, but it will get away from him. And Hare down low as well as Pelini, but it will come back to row here. Had a quiet game so far. Puts it back in front. Hairs there. Can he force it in? He can't. Morrison's on top of it. And again, this line of those three, uh, Her, Pelini and Rowe, kind of looking like they can get one here. Big Sam Her in front of the net. Whacking away. He always gets in those good positions. Big net front presence. But Morrison does a good job grabbing that one. Pelini. And Cazola. On draw here, it's won by the Panthers. Straight off DeSantis, wide and high. Round for Connolly. Back to the Flyers, though, DeSantis. And Connolly forwards, but only back in the possession of Fife. Carr watches that past his post to Connolly and DeSantis. 16 minutes and five seconds to go. Brian Connolly, forward to Rowe, nice pass through his legs. Sam Hare, can't get past Gutwald. Will come for Fick though, he's got Rowe in the middle and Pellini as well. Here's Rowe, towards the net and it's come on the rebound for Pellini. Uh, Fick, and he just didn't have the opportunity to get a shot away. As he's kicking off now with Gila Pint, he's been looking for somebody. Isaacs, as you say, Dan, doesn't fancy it. No, I think, uh, first of all, he doesn't fancy it, because why would anyone? But <laughs> also, I think, you know, they have a few less players than us. They're on the road. They're winning. He's not going to engage in that. I mean, it's not really a good trade-off. Probably better trade-off for them with Leppi not on the ice for a couple of minutes. But, yeah, big hit there by Leppi, and that gave the crowd a bit of a lift. Unfortunately, Isaacs wouldn't oblige. But, yeah, I don't really blame him. 15-40 remain. the officials go over something I don't know why the I think the whistle, it must have been offside I didn't see why the whistle went to start with but it must have been an offside and then obviously Leppy cut across on him but you know what? this might actually help the Panthers because four on four a bit more open ice if ever you need some more room to make a nice play like we always say in overtime Deutsch behind Carr's net deals with that well and then here he is, Jake Hansen. He's got Malquist square. Will he go alone? It's excellent work there. Yeah. Not sure how he got his stick to that, but he's made the difference in the third period, Jones. Yeah, he was the goal scorer. Yeah, nice move. I thought he dropped down a bit early there, but yeah, he, he played it perfectly and just took that away. Certainly the guy you don't want is Hansen in. For 33 seconds of the 
concurrent penalties. Yeah. And then he's going through the middle again. Hanson surely it's a good save. And it stayed out. Matheson was the man that was walking onto that. And Morrison was in the way. Yeah, he's put on a bit of a clinic so far. Morrison here, but great play between Hanson and uh, Matheson. And Matheson at the end there with the shot. And I was expecting the net to bulge. Matheson shooting five hole. But again, Morrison just manages to make that puck stick. No rebound. And again, the Flyers escape. 119 remaining on the penalties. You see the slightly more open ice already paying dividends. Pellini will win possession there. Not for very long though as we'll have another go. This time it's the same result and back to DeSantis. There's the big shot and across was the blocker. Good shot there from DeSantis. Panthers look now just trying to get pucks on the net. They know if they can get 12 to 15 pucks on net this period, they're probably going to get at least one. Livingston <coughs> looks to put it out to the right and Brian Connolly does excellently there to keep the puck in possession. Going through the middle, gets the call. Forcing the issue, Brian Connolly there with 14.27 to go. Yeah, I think that's the thing. Panthers just have to be direct. And you see there, you know, goes right by the forward and he takes him down. And now a four on three power play. Not something that teams practice as much as five on four. But again, with a little bit more room out there for this unit. And with Jake Hansen on the ice, they definitely got a chance to score. Is there with DeSantis, Hare and Connolly. <laughs> Hair here on the draw is one. DeSantis, look at all the space there. Connolly, DeSantis, Hare. Connolly gets it back to Sam Hare and it's a good save across well with Morrison. 33 seconds on the penalties to Lapine and Isaacs and then the 145 on the most recent one. Yeah, I think the Flyers will just be trying to hold on here for those 33 seconds and trying to get their guy back on the ice and at least five on four. It's not quite as wide open out there. They'll probably feel more confident killing off a five on four than a four on three. That's a huge start for them. That'll probably just about do that, that coincidental one. DeSantis picks it up. Connolly has Hansen to his right here, to his left. Gets it back at the blue line. Final 10 seconds of the very depleted sides. There's the shot, DeSantis wide. Look good from up here. Hare, there's Lapine and Isaacs. So a minute and eight then on your more standard power play and that will take a bit of time off as it hits Crowder. Yeah, still plenty of time here for the Panthers. But yeah, I said that the five on four is probably not as dangerous for the Flyers. But the Panthers have two power play goals tonight already. So, William Quist keeps a hold. Golovkovs twisting and turning past Crowder. Matheson gets it back to the Latvian. Matheson, Golovkovs. Called from Deutsch, wants it. Matheson Good towards shot. the net, a couple of redirections there. One off Pellini and then Kvist as well, looking around for it. Pellini wins it straight away. Golovkovs, 15 seconds on the power play. Matheson, looking for an angle there. That's just flashed past the post. Deutsch, five seconds. Deutsch and Livingston is back on the ice. Matheson and Pellini. Oh. Deutsch fires it towards the net again. Same position past that right-hand post. It will evade Golovkovs here and here's Livingston out of the penalty box. That's a nice play. Picked up by Matheson though. Pellini. Deutsch, Lakovic making ground down this near side. Here he is, Panthers seven. 
Look to drop it off for Pellini. Does enough though to keep the possession. Lapin. Now is Morrison who's had a good third period. One back though by Bulmer who wins the penalty. Isaacs again who will sit. He wasn't happy with the call. Shakes, shook his head a few times. So yeah, f you know, Fife keep giving the Panthers chances. Great play there by uh, by Bulmer. He created that all himself. Won that back. Took it around a couple of guys and then forced Isaacs to take him down. <coughs> One on this power play, and you would fancy the momentum back with the Panthers. Hare primed. There's Hansen inside of him, and then Rowe is the man there that's just touched it. Connolly, Rowe, it's a Hare, and Connolly, it's all a bit disjointed. Hansen off the side. DeSantis back to Hansen. Ground was made up there, the stick though, with some Shaber. And then he's going up the right end to attack, short-handed here, completely misses the shot, in comes Connolly. Now it's stretched with Hare. Hansen through the middle, Hare going alone, and it's good work, comes for Hansen though. Can he force it in and back across, Rowe right in front, and we've got a whistle, Morrison must have covered it up. And we've got some end-to-end -end action there, a really good chance for the Flyers, no shot on net, but <clears throat> they really are opportunistic, especially short-handed, and... If they get a chance and a sniff of net, they'll go. And two of them went, but no shot on net. And then they come the other way. They do well to recover. But her and Johnny Rowe there, again, around the net to try and put something in. But Morrison's been good this game, especially this period. One twenty-four on Isaac's most recent penalty. 10.57 on the game, the <coughs> Panthers down 2-3. And that's won by the Flyers, who will, of course, just try and get it clear. Golovkovs down low. Looks for Deutsch. Now Kvist, back to 95, Deutsch. Good pass, far side. Madison and Deutsch again. Oh. That's gone over by some great distance. Yeah, nice deflection there by the defence. We've seen Adam Deutsch score from that exact spot already tonight, so... <coughs> Just over a minute left of this power play. Can the Panthers add to their two goals on the power play already? Pellini loses out but the puck will stay down here through Deutsch there he is the 95 to Brett Pellini quite heavy off his skate there and that's missed and Pellini will have a chance to keep it down low 42 seconds back up to the blue line Deutsch good pass and again to Madison nice move saved and the rebound is covered up just William Kvist was there looking for it Really good movement there by the Panthers in that little triangle and uh, culminated with the Matheson shot from the point. But again, uh, Morrison holds on. He's looked good this third period and again he gets in the way of that one. Pellini and Cazola. Cazola who's had a good game. Deutsch. Bit of space. 25 seconds on the power play. Matheson and Golovkov's over there. It's the latter. They're looking for Deutsch on this uh, backside here for another shot. Golovkov's. Deutsch, there it is, and it's just edged away from him. Five seconds until the full quota return. Isaacs out of the box, and then it's towards the net, and once more, Morrison holds on. Yeah, Matheson's so good at just getting pucks through, not, you know, heavy shots, but... 
He gets him through, he misses the first guy and gets him on net, but yeah, Morrison's swallowing all of those up at the moment. <clears throat> oh dear me, come on. Holly Betridge back out there. And Crowder on the... Betridge back out there. Looks to win that and Bulmer's chasing after it with Gutwald. Gets his stick to it, does Bulmer, but he can't get possession fully back. And we'll go back up the right end. Panthers again with all the time in the offensive zone. But the Flyers, of course, happy to soak the pressure up. Yeah, they're, I mean, they obviously don't want to ice it, but they're certainly not afraid to fire it down the ice. Gives them a 20-second break. <coughs> Malmquist. Crowder again. Malmquist over there inside. And there's the shot deflected up and in to the netting. Yeah, good stick there. <coughs> nine minutes and nine seconds remain. Malmquist, Cazola this time. He again wins out. Betridge and Bulmer. That was Guy Lepin again, who is, could say, up for it in the third period. Fick. Goes past three. And then it comes off the side and back goes Lepin. Under pressure from Crowder, who nearly nicks it off him. Malquist passes to the near side, Bulmer. There's Pellini with him. Bulmer will chase it. Emma Dahl as well. It's good strength from Brett Bulmer. Can he get it away from the boards there? Hairs there as well. DeSantis. And Hare back into a more central position. Space in nice front. Fight. Surely DeSantis and he can't. And if it hit the woodwork or if Morrison got across there. But it was an excellent pass from Connolly. Yeah, if, I mean, if he got that, it's an unbelievable save. But I think it hit the outside of the post of the netting there. Or I'm sure we'll get to see that again when the whistle goes. But, yeah, great play again. Panthers obviously completely in control of this one possession-wise and creating some chances. But they've got to find a way. As Brian Connolly was looking to get on the end of that. Jones and Connolly going at it. Shaber there as well. Officials in quickly though before anything could happen. Looks like another power play. But again, you know, when the when the Panthers skate like that, get pucks to the net, who is this? Still couldn't see. See here. I, I still can't tell. Cross. Sorry everybody, I still can't <laughs> tell, but it was either I mean he got across to it anyway, and it was the way he's performing in this third period, I wouldn't mind betting he got a piece of that. Or maybe it's not going to be a power play for the Panthers here, unless it's a double minor for the fifth guy. Connolly did retaliate a little bit, but so it's a hook and a cross check. So yeah, we'll go four on four. But again, obviously you want a power play, but if it's not a power play, just having a few less bodies on the ice might help. Monquist and Crowder, Madison, Deutsch, and Hansen out there as well. It's caught up and Matheson gets it away and do it. Uh, Hansen. Matheson back to Jake Hansen. Looking for a move and that's an excellent one. Malmquist could save again. Great save, yeah. Huge save by Morrison. We're talking about Malmquist getting his first for the Panthers. Deutsch looked to perhaps line one up there, but he went for the pass. Finucci on the break and there's a man through the middle Crowder nice play crosses Deutsch Adam there. Deutsch though yeah again Deutsch he just is everywhere you know he's obviously he has a goal tonight he's good defensively he skates so well I feel like he's 
just all over the ice all the time. He does well again to break that play up. Malmquist, good pass. Matherson with nobody really up in support yet. Deutsch and Hare, but it's Gutwald in possession. Nearly at the halfway point of those two penalties. Tim Crowder. Cazola. This is where Fife get dangerous sometimes because obviously Panthers are just all thinking all offense the whole time now. Not long they need to get a goal and if, 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 if Fife do manage to get in the zone and get set up. Gila Pin and Tim Crowder. Lapine leading the breakout there. Okay, nobody wants anything to do with Gila Pin. 44 seconds left on the two penalties. 6.22 on the game. Panthers down 2 3. DeSantis Lapin. Fife in possession. Cazola almost nicked by Hare. Jonas Emmerdahl. Now up down this left hand side towards Karsnet. I think he wanted to try and keep that alive to row, but there was a whistle before he got it back out. His glove, 23 seconds left on the two penalties. Six on the nose on the game. Lakovic. On this, and it pops out, and he almost gets on the end of it. Livingston, Arson, Golovkov's forward there, just. Fife with a bit of possession in their offensive zone. Arson up into the netting, Golovkov's as both return to the ice. 5.37 left and we're back to the full quota. Malquist and Shaber are now Arson. Livingston blocked into the neutral zone. Car out. Malquist comes and retrieves it. Matherson. Malmquist. Forward Hansen. Far side, excellent pass, just pops up over the stick though. Towards the net, and it's the blocker out this time from Adam Morrison. Hansen wins it back and is battling away. Less than five to go. Pass forwards, he's back to Matherson, he's got Deutsch square of him and it's turned over, Cazola man trailing the play is Crowder it's a save from Carr Crowder's still going it's a good pass back in front and a save again from Kevin Carr, 4.22 to go yeah again a little bit of a turnover there but it's all down to five, you know, big four check like we said they're obviously happy with their lead but when they get a chance they'll go for it a little bit here and a couple of good saves there by Kevin Carr keeping the team in this one if one of those goes in, this one's pretty much over, I would say. So, two big saves by Kevin Carr, keeping the boys right in this one. Pelini Consola there, as you see. We'll have another go as Brett Pelini easily won that first one. Towards the net, Carr again in the glove. A 
as Adam Morrison changes his bottle of a good third period from him. Yeah, he's been great. He's, uh, I wouldn't say the only reason the Flyers are ahead, but he's probably made three really big saves that have given him the chance to be in the lead with, you know, under five minutes here. Jason DeSantis. Now inside. Forward from Heron. Kept alive by Morrison. Tim Crowder. Mike Cazola off the skate and back in the possession of the Panthers. Hare, DeSantis. Connolly thought Hare was going to the right of him. Nothing doing though and it is back with the Panthers captain eventually. DeSantis. Good pass through the middle. Pellini has Hare making ground as well. We'll get there before anybody. Back to Brett Pellini. Through that gap. The stick is retrieved immediately towards the net. Off the glass. Hare has a look around. Spins on Jonas Emmerdahl. And Deutsch. Pellini. A few bodies in front. And there it is. It's gone in. Brett Pellini with the puck towards the net. Sam Hare wheeling off in celebration. The Panthers are level with just over three to go. Yeah, great play there. Great play by the Panthers. Wheeling around the zone. You see Matheson go to net. Pearls fires it in. Not sure if that hits Johnny Rowe. We'll see in front here. Looks like it might nick a piece of Johnny Rowe. And that one's in. The Panthers tie up. And the Panthers have been persistent. Kept knocking on the door. Nothing Morrison could do about that one. Just Johnny Rowe in front of the net. And a nice play there by Pellini directing that one towards the net. John Rowe credited with it. They're going to look at this one. I think obviously you get like a challenge as a coach, so you might as well use it. Pivotal time. I don't, again, I don't see, he's probably saying goal turn interference, but Johnny Rowe's nowhere near him. There's no one anywhere near him, so I don't see any reason why. Let's have a look again here. Not a high stick, no one in the crease, no contact with Morrison. Yeah, pretty quick, pretty quick decision. Look. I would be amazed if this was a no goal. Or perhaps not. No. Goal stands and we're going to have three minutes and three seconds. Full pedal to the metal here. Panthers been the better side, deserved the goal. And finally got one past Adam Morrison with just needed about 25 bodies in front of him to screen him. Deutsch. Momentum now surely with the Panthers. Yeah, you would think so here. They should be flying now at home with this crowd going. It's just though, got Schaber. Looks for the wrap around and then Deutsch is back to his feet at the perfect time. Arson, Livingston, blocked straight away. It was Hansen. Down low. Chase Schaber. Deutsch trying to force him off it. Crowd getting behind the Panthers. Inadvertently there. Well, it's one back. And that's an excellent stick from Malmquist. Hansen Golovkovs. Down this right-hand side goes George Golovkovs. Other way is Monquist spins his man and gets the call. Yeah, uh, this is going to be it. This has got it written all over it. Nice late comeback and then a power play to finish. Panthers haven't won at home since September the 1st. Two power play goals already. The momentum with them. Surely now is the time. Sam Jones, the man in the box.
And as head coach Tim Wallace there calling for the time. Let's draw something up here. <laughs> Both sides back. And this feels like a big moment in the season. Sam Hare on the draw wins it. Check one there. DeSantis. Hansen. Started red hot to his Panthers career. That's redirected. It's almost put in there by Hare. And then whacked away. Yeah, great chance there by the Panthers again. Very direct, just like the last goal. Getting pucks to the net with traffic. And that's uh, it's, it's paid dividends today. Hansen's goal was like that. Johnny Rowe's goal was like that. The six seconds in between the penalty and the game clock. Jake Hansen at speed. John Rowe, scorer of the latest. DeSantis. Hansen towards the net, out. There was Gutvold's right. DeSantis again. Hansen fires it towards the net and it hits John Rowe in front. Yeah, he's doing such a good job in front. And again, now guys are starting to look for it. Just getting it to where Johnny Rowe is. And if he can move, it's going to be in. Fake there from DeSantis to Hansen. Gets away from him a tad. 50 seconds. Towards the net again. That's blocked. And well, not very well cleared though. Brian Connolly. Inside the last minute. Sam Hare, surely he's fired it in. Sam Hare, the Panthers captain, comes up big inside the last minute. 4-3, 45 seconds to go. And that's going to do it. You knew as soon as they got that power play, they had a chance. And Connolly inside to Hare. He finds that soft spot and he fires it low. Glove side on Morrison. He's had an unbelievable period. But he's screened. There's someone in front of him. And Hare finds that low glove. And he gives the Panthers the lead late on. 45 seconds still to go here. Captain, leading point scorer, Sam Hare. Deutsch. Scott Arson plays it forward to Gautier. Cazola's making ground through the middle. He doesn't get his stick fully on it, though. That looked dangerous. Tim Crowder is up against the glass, and it's up and out halfway. Crowder again inside Gautier. Lakovic gets his skate to it. It's up in the air. But not anymore, it's in Kevin Carr's hand. Yeah, na uh, goalie pulled here, so it's going to be a six on five the rest of the way. Adam Morrison then, as you say, out of his net. Panthers have got about nine out there. <laughs> yeah, that's too many. <laughs> 20 seconds. Pellini, Cazola. Cazola has a goal. Straight off it. Excellent save. It was Crowder. Matherson. And then back down low. All the way back here. Jones, he's already got one saved. And Good the save. rebound is out. It's five seconds. Lakovic, can he get there? Gautier oh, no, all the way it. around, and that'll be it. The Panthers win. I repeat, Panthers win. 4-3. Sam Hare with a decisive goal inside the last minute.